Hi everyone. Today we're actually going to be talking about vultures. And I know vultures get this like really bad rap. They're kind of interesting looking. They have no feathers on their head. They're known to eat dead animals. Um, and everybody thinks that they're really gross and really dirty. There are actually two species of vultures that you'll find here. We have our black vulture, and then we also have our turkey vulture. When you say black vulture, think of that bird being completely black. Literally their head is black, their feathers are black, even their legs are. Um, the turkey vulture, they're going to be more of a brownish color. And then they also have a red head. Their wings, the underside of their wings are going to be different. Um, when it comes to our black vulture here, the tips of their wings are going to be a white color. Now, if we look at the turkey vulture, they just have a lot more white on the underside of their wings. And then the shape of their tail is also going to be a little bit different. The turkey vulture is known for having a longer tail and the um, black vulture is known to have like a shorter, broader tail. So um, when we talk about vultures, um, they're really an interesting animal. Um, they don't have any feathers on their head and that's actually to maintain cleanliness. They're eating dead animals. We call dead animals carrion, or sometimes we refer to these animals as scavengers. So they're going to find a dead animal. They're going to be, you know, sticking their head inside of it. And you can imagine how yucky and gross that might be. So in order to maintain their feather quality and to be clean and not have all that yucky, gross stuff kind of sticking to them, they just have skin, which is easier to clean than those feathers. Um, they're also known for um, pooping on their legs, which is wild when you think about it. Um, but the cool thing about that is the pooping on the legs actually will help to cool themselves down, which is kind of like how our sweat works. So for our vulture friends, they're going to poop on their legs and the evaporation is going to help to cool them down. Wild, right? Added bonus is that their, their feces actually contain um, little like microbes that help to keep their legs clean as well. So imagine again, they're just kind of stomping around in the dead animals in that, into that carry-on and they poop on their legs. It gets rid of all the bacteria that might be kind of growing and developing on there. Um, and they're super beneficial to us. So they're going to eat an animal. Let's say that animal even died from um, botulism or something like that. So they're going to eat that dead animal and their gut biome is so strong and it actually allows them to digest that botulism or the botulin toxin and it doesn't go back into the environment. So when we see vultures though, we're typically going to see them like soaring and gliding in the sky. Um, they're going to be using these thermals is what we call them. So essentially it's warm air rising from the ground and that warm air allows them to get really, really high. And it also allows them to not really use much energy when it comes to soaring and getting higher and higher and higher. So they're going to be really, really high in the sky. First off, if you see ones that are really super duper high, those would typically be your black vultures. Um, our turkey vultures uh, have a really, really well-developed sense of smell actually. So when they're flying high, they're actually smelling the air. They're actually looking for food that way. Um, when it comes to the black vultures, they're going to have better vision. So typically that's why they're going to be higher than the turkey vultures because they're going to be scanning the ground. So um, I know they get a bad rap for being like these animals that eat dead animals and they must be dirty and they must be filthy. Totally opposite. They're super duper clean. So they help to clean up our world by eating all of those dead animals and they help to curb the spread of disease, which is really, really beneficial to us and to our native wild local animals. Um, so really, really cool animal that doesn't deserve the bad rap that they actually get.